Well, as you may have guessed, episode number 14 is about gear mesh. How's it going everybody? Greg Vogel here, and this is our Get Into RC video series. And yep, today I'm gonna teach you how to properly set your gear mesh. Now, before I go and start showing you how to set your gear mesh, there's a couple things that you need to know. Number one is you should check your gear mesh often. Now, the reason why you wanna do that is because your motor is a pretty heavy object inside your car. And when it's getting beat up during a bash session, well, it has a chance to move slightly and that could start to wear away at the gears. The next thing you need to know is there are different types of gears. There's different size gears, obviously different tooths, but there are also different pitches to the teeth of the gears. So when you replace, upgrade, or change your gears, you're going to want to make sure that you pick the proper pitch gear. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you those different style gears. Then I'm going to show you two different methods to actually set your gear mesh. Let's head over to the workbench. So I've gathered up a number of different pinions here that are used quite often in RC and I even have a clutch bell gear to talk about. So something to note beyond just the tooth size difference of a pinion gear and the pitch size difference, which we're going to talk about in a second, is the hole size or the bore size here in the center of the pinion where the pinion slides onto your motor. So there are typically three different size bores for RC pinion gears. There is a two millimeter bore size for mini and micro cars. There is an eighth bore for most 10 scale cars using 540 and 550 size motors. And for larger electric motors, there is a five millimeter pinion bore. Now let's take a look at the differences in pitches. This here is a 64 pitch gear, as you can see. The tooth pitch is very fine on this gear. The next size up is 48 pitch. And as you can see, the teeth here are a little bit farther apart. Here's a 32 pitch gear. And as you can see, the teeth are even farther apart on this one. This is an eight mod gear or 0.8 mod gear, and this is a one mod gear. And typically clutch bells on nitro cars are one mod, but again, there are some variations. Now, something very important to know is that you can't interchange different pitches. So here's a 64 pitch and a 48 pitch, and as you can see, these teeth just do not line up. So if you tried to make this work, you would just wind up stripping out your gears. Now, the only exception is 32 pitch and 0.8 mod. These two gears are so close in pitch, they're actually okay to use together. Okay, now let's set some gear mesh. So here I have a Traxxas Stampede and I just pulled the gear cover off and I noticed that this is actually gonna be a really good example for our discussion today. The motor on this particular truck has moved just a bit and there is actually too much gear lash here between the gears. As you can see, as I rock the spur gear back and forth, there's just a lot of play between the teeth. You do want some play between the teeth, but with too much play, you chance stripping out your gears. So the method of adjustment that I'm gonna show you right now is what I use for 48 pitch gears and finer, such as 64. And that method is adjusting the gear mesh by eye and by feel. So the first step is to come in and loosen up your motor just slightly. You still want the motor to be nice and snug in here, but you wanna be able to just move the motor. As you can see, I'm moving the motor back and forth and it's still tight within the mount. So with it loose, I could come in and check the mesh and keep twisting the motor until I find the point where it stops. And then I back off just a little bit. And so there's just a nice little bit of play. Now come in, tighten down the motor and come back and check the gear. Next, you have to take and rotate the gear. Keep checking the mesh in different spots. A little bit of play, a little bit of play, a little bit of play. A little bit of play. Not every gear is perfectly round, so you have to turn the gears to check to make sure there is just a little bit of play or not too much play at another point in the gear. So this is a little bit of a time consuming process to just go through and check, but you wanna make sure there isn't a overly loose or overly tight spot. So some gears have a very tight spot and you wanna be aware of that too. In that instance, I like to go to that tight spot between the gears and set the mesh from there and then just go back and double check to make sure everything works fine. If your gear mesh is too tight, you chance burning up your motor or possibly your other electronics. If it's too loose, you guessed it, you'll strip out the gears. Now I'm gonna show another method to set gear mesh for coarser pitch gears. And that requires a small piece of notebook paper. And this is a great tip for those of you who are concerned about setting your gear mesh properly. So first step is, is to come in and back off on the motor screw or screws, slide the motor out and then slip the paper between the gears. Push the motor and pinion into the spur gear, rock it back and forth just a little bit. And then you could come in and tighten down your motor screw nice and tight. Now, when you roll the paper out, you should be left with the proper gear mesh. And you could hear the rocking back and forth in there, the tapping between the gears. There is just a small lag between the tapping. So I know that this gear is set perfectly. 
The paper trick actually works really well with nitro vehicles too and for fifth scale. For any vehicle with a coarser tooth, you could simply fold over the piece of paper and that will give you the extra thickness you need for a proper gear mesh. So adjusting your gear mesh, it isn't that hard at all. And as long as you take the time to do it right, your gear should last a long time. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you haven't done so yet, please click the subscribe button. We have a lot more Getting Started RC videos coming up.